Hey everybody, Dave here. Today I'm going to try and recreate the vegan version of my all-time favorite sandwich, the Philly cheesesteak. We're going to try and do it with soy curls. Let's jump right in. All right, we're going to kick it off here with the toppings. You can see here I'm going to go onion and mushroom on my steak. Now if you're going to go onion, you probably want to go yellow onion or white onion. That's a traditional topping for a cheesesteak. If you got a red onion, you could use it. I think that's more of a salad onion or a burger topper. But uh, if all you got in the house is shallots or green onions, then for God's sake, just go to a grocery store and buy an onion at like 50 cents. Come on. Have some dignity. But uh, you're going to want to dice them up because uh, I'm saying toppings here, but they're really going to be integrated into the steak. So you're going to want like uh, little dices. And uh, as you get a good look at my culinary cutting skills here, um, you can get an idea of what, what you're going for. Just try not to cut your fingers off like I almost did. And while we're talking about toppings, I should probably mention peppers because hot peppers and sweet peppers are very traditional topping on a cheesesteak. You'll see them all over town. You may even get pickled peppers on the side, which is a pretty common thing to see. In fact, at the end of the video, you'll see I have some banana peppers pickled and, and on the side that I just dropped onto my steak. So, very common thing that you'll see. Um, bell peppers, not so much. If you like green or red or yellow bell peppers, you can put it on your steak. Don't expect it to be in a shop in Philadelphia. They might look at you side-eyed if you ask for green peppers. It's kind of weird. Garlic here, all right, it's not something you'd normally see in a shop, but since I'm cooking everything at home, I like garlic. So it's going into my, my pot. So here we go in with the garlic, just dice it up, get that going. So mushrooms are a fairly common topping. Got some portobellas here. Um, generally, if you ask for mushrooms on your steak, it becomes its own thing. You'd have like a mushroom steak. Um, in this case, I wanted the portobellas because they lend that meatiness. So I'm hoping to get that meatiness into the steak. All right, so here we are. We're going to cook up the toppings. No state secret here, right? We're going to go in with the garlic here first. Cook it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Don't let it burn. Got to keep an eye on it. All right, it's only going to take, uh, like I said, a couple seconds. Then you're going to come in with the onions. And really what you're trying to do here with the onions, just sweat them out, soften them up. You don't want to go all the way to caramelization, but you definitely want them nice and soft. And then we're going to come in with the mushrooms here. And what you want to do with the mushrooms, you see I'm going to put a little salt on these things. That's going to help draw the moisture out. So get all the moisture out of the mushrooms, cook them down, and then you're left with all that meatiness. So you're going to saute these for like 10 or 15 minutes, end up with something looking like this. And then you're going to reserve that, put it aside. All right, so let's talk about these soy curls, right? Here they are in a jar. Pull some out, they kind of look like Fritos, maybe like pork rinds or something. They're real dry. And, uh, you know, if you're if you're looking at them, they're oh, oh, a little jumpy. Um, they're real dry and brittle. And if you eat one like this, you might spit it directly out they're really gross uh, so what you need to do is bring these back to life with some water so here I am going to put them in a bowl put the rest of these in a bowl and we're gonna rehydrate them so there they are they look really gross uh, that's just a bunch of wet soy curls and right now they still don't taste like anything and really all they are, are just soybeans kind of shaped into like a little sort of meat strip looking thing okay meat on a traditional cheesesteak is going to be either ribeye or sirloin okay it's going to start off as a raw meat it's going to be cut very thin and it's going to be cooked on a flat grill cooks up very quickly okay you can't use roast beef deli meat you can't use leftover pot roast those guys make good sandwiches but they are not cheesesteaks okay so if you go to a shop like Pat's or Gino's, they're going to cut the ribbons nice and thin. Okay, you get long strips of steak and it's delicious. 
But if you go to a place like Jim's, okay, they're going to start off with the long strips of steak and then they're going to mince them up a little bit. And that's kind of what I'm going for here because I can't get this stuff as thin as I need to. So I'm trying to recreate the mince. And so, you know, I'm going for like a little bit of a rough chop, somewhere between a rough chop and a mince. And it's leaving me with these little bits and you can kind of get an idea here what I'm left with. So uh, I'm hoping that this is going to work out. All right, so for the meat sauce, I've got uh, coconut aminos. That here in the middle is molasses. And then we've got our uh, tomato paste. And I doubled up. I'm going to put the recipe in the description. I doubled up the recipe, and I ended up having to make two batches of this. All right, so I'm mixing all these together. I'm putting a little garlic in there. Put a little crushed back black pepper. Then I'm coming in with a little umami powder. It's like a mushroom powder. Instead of salt, this gives it a little more savory flavor. And it's a little salty. Um, and it's really good. It's good in soups. It's good in all kinds of different stuff. And I thought it might give a little more sort of savory flavor to this meat. So then I go in with the, the soy curls for about five minutes. Try and cook as much water out as I can before I add the meat sauce stuff into it. And then I cook that for probably another five minutes just to kind of let those flavors get in there, right? So just make sure that you cook it long enough that all those flavors get integrated into the soy curls. All right, let's talk about cheese. So traditionally on a cheesesteak, you're going to have either provolone, American, or cheese Whiz. All right. If somebody's offering you Swiss or Gruyere or some other fancy cheese, it's going to be a weird cheesesteak. I don't know. It's just not how you normally make it. I'm going with a whiz here. You can see I put a little vegan butter, about two tablespoons in. Then I came in with about two tablespoons of uh, gluten-free flour. Now I'm coming in with about a cup and a half of cashew milk here. So I'm keeping it vegan. All right. You're going to want to get all the lumps out of that little pasty dough that you had. And then cook this down for like eh, a couple minutes and you can kind of see when you, when you can draw lines in the bottom, then you're ready for your cheese. So here you go. I got the Viola, Via Life shredded cheese. It's vegan. Comes in an eight ounce package. I'm dropping about six ounces in here. Now this stuff cooks slow, so you got to be patient. Put the heat on medium, medium low, and just take your time. It's going to take a while, but here you go. This is what it looks like when it's done and everybody loves it. All right, so time to build this Sammy. So what you're going to do is take a scoop of your toppings, take a couple scoops of your meat, get it into like a little sandwich mound here. This is going to be the bottom of the sandwich, so you can put a little whiz on the bottom. Come in with a roll. I got about a four inch roll here. It's kind of cold in the kitchen that day. Give me a break. Then you're gonna come in with the spatula, come underneath, flip it onto the plate. Then you're pretty much done. Hit it with a little bit of whiz, all right? Try and integrate it into the sandwich. You can use a knife for that. And now this bad boy is ready to eat. Enjoy. All right, I am psyched. This thing. Looks the part, it smells like a real cheesesteak, and if it tastes anything like it looks, we're in for a treat. You ready to go in for it? I am so ready. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Okay. Oof, man. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Mmm. It tastes just like a cheesesteak. Mm. This is a good cheesesteak. The texture's right. It tastes good. Gooey cheese. Mm. Everything is good. This thing is delicious. All right, so there it is. Delicious vegan cheesesteak. Definitely give this a try. And until next time, thanks for watching. so messy. It's so delicious. 
Well done, you. Mm. 